Commission. Thank you, uh, President. Uh, um, as you know, we have uh, asked the WTO for a waiver with respect to the uh, uh, measures that we have been uh, proposing to alleviate uh, the big problems that uh, Pakistan has been facing last year and is uh, facing uh, again. We have also uh, information, quote unquote, uh, uh, whereby uh, India would now be prepared to uh, uh, lift uh, its, uh, its veto and I hope this will come about and then of course uh, the uh, discussion will have to be uh, uh, pursued here in this, in this parliament whether or not we uh, uh, vote the uh, uh, proposals that, that we have been putting forward because you still then need an, of course a decision uh, of the uh, European uh, Parliament. Um, on the FTA, yes of course we have discussed it yesterday in the Foreign Affairs uh, Council. I have been mentioning that uh, we are uh, facing quite a lot of problems with uh, these uh, negotiations, uh, be it with respect to wine and spirits, uh, with respect to services, with respect to cars. Uh, but I have also stressed that we uh, continue to negotiate and that we will insist uh, with the uh, Indian uh, authorities at the highest level, which uh, will happen, of course, uh, uh, through Mr. Barroso, that uh, we would uh, uh, complete the negotiations by the next uh, uh, summit. I don't know whether Mrs. Georgieva wants to uh, add something. Confirm that the floods this year are very uh, severe. We have increased humanitarian assistance from 76 to 86 million euros because of these floods. And in my meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Pakistan, she did bring up the question of uh, uh, alleviating constraints to free trade uh, as another way to help people in a very difficult